Oh, talk to me. sorry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I just got, I saw Twitter. I opened Twitter for a second. Yeah. Field Yates at Field Yates. Yeah, everyone knows Field. He yeah, tweeted, triple, triple check the handle. He tweeted, trade. The Ravens have traded wide receiver Marquise Brown to the Cardinals. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All that's, right. That's something. Rashad Bateman season, baby. That is all the Rashad Bateman that you can get. I mean, his his stock fake. just went his his stock just went way up. Yeah, let's let's check the handle here. And it is it is at Field Yates. That is him, unless he got hacked. Um, that that is happening. All right, so a lot to digest here. I want to bring in Mr. Scampers here, who's coming in uh, on YouTube, and he's talking about the thoughts on on Ravens wide receiver versus running back need. Um, it could have been a little bit delayed, but talking about Dobbins and Edwards starting on starting the season on the PUP, as you, we saw Dobbins got late heading into the or got hurt heading into the year last season. Gus Edwards as well uh, was a favorable best ball pick, and he got hurt. Um, early on so weren't able to see them but does do the Baltimore Ravens are they just you know saying that hey we know what we have in Lamar we got these kids who are coming back we're gonna get them healthy and we're you know maybe you know with Dobbins back maybe we don't see Lamar rush as much as he's kind of you know been hurt banged up the past couple of years and they might want to folk might want him focus in on that passing so Rashad Bateman could definitely benefit from that Mark Andrews benefits from that what is the offensive outlook that we can see with the Baltimore Ravens with this move being made I I mean look I I think that they if you look at last year they were still a run heavy team I mean they still ranked like 25th in the league in pass rate I think that like people seem to think that they were like really pass heavy um but you could also argue that almost everything went in a direction for them where they had to be pass heavy, right? Like, right. like the running backs all went down. Their secondary was all banged up. Like it made sense that they would have to be a more pass heavy team last year. And they were still not very pass heavy. I don't think that's going to drastically change as long as Greg Roman and Lamar Jackson are there. I think that they're going to run a similar offense and they should like, like it's, it's always been very strange to me that people would, would say that they need to throw the ball more with Lamar Jackson when a Lamar Jackson rush is arguably the most valuable play in all of football and the entire <laughs> NFL. Like that, that play is the most valuable thing that anyone, any human being on earth can do. Right. So there doesn't make that much sense for them to just like take that away or half it, or even get it to a 75% of what it's been. Um, as long as he can stay healthy, of course, and he stayed relatively healthy, all things considered. So I do think that uh, they're going to still be a run heavy team. Um, and I do also think that they're a, a candidate to draft a day two running back. Um, this Baltimore team because wow. you know J.K. Dobbins coming back from injury, Gus Edwards coming back from injury. They show that they didn't have any depth last season, um, and I think that there's a chance that they value that position just given the offense that they're operating in. They value it a little bit more than what we would think or what someone else would think just looking at their depth chart. So I do think they're going to still be a fairly run heavy team. But the the reason why this all shifts and this equation shifts to Rashad Bateman and to, to to benefit a guy like Rashad Bateman is from a target share standpoint. When you're on a run heavy yeah. offense, you need to capture a larger target share in set offense. I think they're still going to, they, they have to take wide receivers in this draft. Baltimore does. Um, but the, 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 uh, the thing is, is that now uh, Rashad Bateman's competing against a potential rookie, maybe even not a first round rookie who knows what they do, but competing against that versus Marquise Brown, he's going to see a higher target share in the offense. That's exactly what he needs to be able to be a wide receiver two in fantasy football. I don't think it's going to be easy for him to ever be a wide receiver one. As long as Lamar Jackson's there, there's going to be a cap ceiling, but yes, this is huge, huge news for Rashad Bateman. Not, not only that, but remember Kyler Murray and Marquise Brown played college ball together. They're back oh reunited. Yeah. This oh is boy. fun. This is fun. I love Jim, Jim would be going nuts with all these narratives. Oh yeah, I love this stuff. Yeah, the the storylines seem to just lend, lend lend themselves to it. I mean, you know, where where did these guys play pee wee ball? Like, who did they grow up with? Like, who, what coaches are they connected to? What coaches are there? What college coach do they have that's connected to the NFL coach that they could land in? I mean, it it just they always write itself, but that that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I know we the Rashad Bateman season is definitely upon us, but this has to be helpful for Mark Andrews too in Baltimore, who, I mean, is, you know, yeah. arguably the number one target for Lamar Jackson once he's healthy. And I don't see, I mean, Rashard Bateman's going to get his, but I mean, Mark Andrews without having to worry about Hollywood Brown as well is just going to, you know, see his target share skyrocket. 
Yeah, easily the tight end one in fantasy football after this. Um, you know, obviously he had his huge season last year. Looks like they got a third and oh, okay. So so Baltimore gets the twenty third overall pick, and Arizona gets uh, Marquise Brown in a third round pick, uh, pick okay. one hundred overall. So you have to think that Baltimore is looking wide receiver with that pick. And again, just to reiterate what we've been saying, like we've been, you know, everyone's mocking Jahan Dotson to the late first. This could be a Jahan Dotson spot to stretch the field and just replace Marquise Brown and play a similar role for him. 